You might be thinking, is my country really the best for the software developer? Maybe I need to move to another country. But what about Germany? As I'm living in Germany already 10 years, I want to share with you my experiences and view on the German market in regard to software development. So let's find out if Germany is the best country to be a software developer. And the sponsor of this video is Verpex. Verpex offers a full range of hosting services from reseller and VPS hosting to shared hosting, dedicated servers and domain registration. Whenever you are running your personal website, an online business or even your own hosting company, Verpex has options for you. If you want to start your own hosting business or manage multiple websites easily, reseller hosting includes cPanel, automated daily backups and 24-7 support. You can set your own pricing, create hosting plans and let Verpex handle the infrastructure. If you need more performance then VPS hosting gives you dedicated resources and data centers worldwide. If you need even more power, dedicated servers provide full hardware access with no resource sharing. So if you are looking for scalable and affordable hosting, check out Verpex. You can find the link in the description box below. With that being said, let's jump into the video. So first let's start with talking about job market for software developers in Germany. And here I want to always compare Germany with US, because in US you have lots of startups and businesses which are coming out every single day. You don't have something like this in Germany, so it is not about startups at all, it is more about industries and internal products. Most of the products that you will develop are focused on the Germany itself. You are not doing some outsource because the salaries are quite high and nobody from other countries will outsource their work to Germany. So here you can expect to work on internal products like fintech, factory software like for autos or different SaaS businesses for the local market. But what about the demand? Software developer is still a popular and needed position. But across all countries, you can see that in last years, the amount of developers who are hiring is much smaller. Why is that? Because we had corona and economy problems across the whole world and companies are cutting costs. Germany is no exception, this is why obviously it is more difficult to find job nowadays than before. And the more experience you have the better, because then it is easier for you to find a job. Still the market is there, but it is situated as always only in big cities like Berlin, Munich or Hamburg. The next important question is salaries and the cost of living. Can you earn enough as a software developer? to live a good life in Germany? And the simple answer is yes, but it is not comparable to something like US. And this is for a reason, because you get all this protection and social benefits that you are not getting for example in the US. But the amount of money that you are getting also is much smaller. It is still much higher than average amount of money that people can earn in Germany in other professions, but you won't feel like a king here. So obviously you can save some money from your salary and live a good life, but it won't be luxurious. When you see salaries in Germany, they will typically be in brutto per year and then you will need to pay taxes from them. And typically it might go in range from 35 to 40 or 45 percent, but 45 is really a rare case. The cost of living is obviously much higher in bigger cities like Berlin, Munich or Hamburg, especially Munich. But the problem is, if you are thinking in living in a smaller city, you have a problem in finding job, because all tech cities with a lot of companies where you can easily find job will be only big cities. So what about taxes and social benefits? You already heard about taxes, but what about social benefits? And this is important to compare Germany with something like US. Yes, in US you can earn a lot of money and additionally get company stocks, but social benefits are not great. You don't have any vacation, you are not well protected from medical insurance, so you need to invest a lot of money that you are earning in your own health and stability. In Germany the salaries are much lower, but your medical insurance covers almost everything. 
you will never be in the situation that you won't get a surgery because you don't have enough money. Additionally to that, most IT companies are getting 30 vacation days per year, which is quite a lot if we are comparing it with yes, for example. Which brings us to the point of work-life balance. It is quite good here, as you can understand at least from the amount of vacation days. Overtimes can happen in companies, but it is not something normal. Typically, most of the companies don't have overtimes, and this is not normal to overtime constantly like for example in the US. I would say that people here, especially in the IT, are more relaxed, they are obviously focused on the work, but only during working hours. Quite a lot of companies will have foreigners in them, and in some companies it is normal to talk just English because of the amount of foreigners inside. But you must understand that knowing German is a huge plus because you can find job easier and in more companies. And it is always easier for Germans to speak German than English, this is why they will always switch to German because it is simpler for them. So if you think about moving to Germany, learning German is a must. Other than that, IT processes are working just like in all other countries. If you are friendly, polite and you have good working relationships, you will be fine. But what about remote work? Previously remote work was not popular at all, most companies wanted to see you in the office every single day. But then we had corona with remote time and after this most of the companies are going to hybrid model, which essentially means you are going to the office like 2-3 to three days per week and other days you are working remotely. There are some remote positions, but not a lot of them. So how to get a job in Germany and what challenges you will have? Obviously, you must be quite an experienced developer. If you are a junior and additionally you don't know German, it will be tough. So improving your skills and German knowledge is a must here. But what about languages and frameworks? As I already said, it is much less startups here, so mostly technologies are more stable and you can't see a lot of hype technologies which are being used in the industry. So it is more about Java and PHP on the backend with React or Angular on the client. You won't see in the companies things like Python, Ruby on Rails, Svelte or Vue for example. So most of the companies are focused on the tech, which is already existing there for a long time, and it is stable. Now let's talk about size of the companies. It is exactly the same like in other countries. When you have a bigger company, you typically have better processes, because then in the company you have at least several teams, you have an HR, and even processes like onboarding are already established. This is why it is easier to join and follow the processes. If we are talking about smaller company, with just several people, it will be more chaotic and you probably need to do more stuff, like for example a full stack development, just because company doesn't have enough people to split jobs. And as always here, I prefer bigger companies just because the processes are established and you can focus only on your part of development, like for example front-end development. But here is another question, ok, I really want to work in Germany, but I want to earn more money, can I do that? Realistically, it is difficult to get much more money than on the top of the market. It all depends on your experience and skills, but realistically at some point the difference won't be that big. You can get like 10 or 20% more, but not more than that. But you know that you are getting a stable job with a contract where you can't be just fired in a week, but instead you will get a notice period of 3 months. But here you might think, ok, but I really want to earn more money, is it possible to do that as a software developer in Germany? And yes, it is possible if you are not working as a full-time employee, but as a freelancer, which actually means you have short contracts for different clients where you basically still work like a software developer. These jobs are typically paid higher because they involve more risks. But after some time, when you feel yourself comfortable in Germany, you might want to try this approach if you want less stability and earn more money. But if you are coming from abroad, the question is how you can start working in Germany. And basically you just want to get a working visa. 
And in order to do that, you need to find a company which want to relocate you. You basically need to pass an interview and then get a working visa for this company. But here I must say that nowadays it is more complicated to find a job and move to Germany than it was for example 10 years ago when I did that. Because companies are hiring much less and only makes sense for the companies when they are hiring you on a lower salary. So let's sum this up. Is Germany a great country to work there as a software developer? And the answer for me myself is yes, because of stability. You might not earn that much money as in US or UK, but you have a really nice work-life balance, quite a lot of companies where you can work, and you have options to switch the company if you're working in a big city, and you can earn enough for a decent living. And if you think that you don't have enough skills to apply to some jobs, you might want to check all my courses that I have on the website with a single monthly subscription. Then you can improve your skills a lot and be more valuable to get a better job. So check the link in the description box below.